it. What do you call him? The disco dancer from the Q's talking. Who owns the fella? Me. Well, come on then, Bollock. Are you introducing yourself or what? Hi, I'm Michelle's cousin, James. Why is he making that funny noise? He's English, Ola. That's the way they talk. He's me to Cathy's way. I told you about me to Cathy. She went to England years ago to have an abortion, never came back. Never got the abortion either. Lucky for you, James, eh? Huh? I didn't actually know that. Hi, guys. Could I just have a quick chat? You must be new. I'm Jenny. Great hair. Very bold. I'd love to go with that short butcher. I don't have the bone structure. He's a fella, Jenny. Oh, I see. <laughs> a new school. Watch their back. Oh, speaking of pupils who need to watch their back, I'd like to introduce James McGuire. Show yourself, please, James. James will be the first ever boy to study here at Our Lady Immaculate College. He was due to start a Christian Brother Boys, but there were serious concerns for his safety because, well, unfortunately, James happens to be English. <laughs> but let me make one thing clear. I will not have a repeat of the Mr. Mullen affair. Is that understood? What's the Mr. Mullen affair? Student teacher. Two fourth years cable tied him to the monkey bars and started dry riding him. He was really good looking, so you have nothing to worry about. Let us pray. Would you mind showing me where the toilet is? You are really starting to do my head, do you know that? Will the following pupils please report to Sister Michael's office immediately? Erin Quinn, Orla McCool, Claire Devlin, Michelle Mallon, and the wee English fella. Thank Why? you. I can't find the boys' toilets anywhere. It's an all girls school, duck face. There are no boys' toilets. So should I just use the girls' toilets? No, you should not, you fucking pervert. Yes. Sister. Yeah, Sister Michael, can I just quickly ask, um, since there's no male student toilets on the premises, Am I permitted to use the staff ones? Absolutely not. Now, I think you all owe Tina an apology, don't you? We're very sorry, very Tina. Sorry, Tina. Sorry, 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 Tina. Sorry. I'm desperate now. This is agony. Can you please stop crying in my face for five fucking minutes, James? Mr. Maguire, you have been warned. Do not ask me again. This is disgraceful. I should have access to a lavatory. What about my civil rights? Coroner. Any longer. What part of me not giving a flying fuck are you struggling with exactly? Oh, God. Jesus, that's disgusting. Stop it. That's English for you fucking savages. It's funny how she sleeps with her eyes wide open, isn't it? What? Sweet suffering, Jehovah. Where's my mum, Auntie Deirdre? She's away back to London. What, without me? Ah, oh, dry your eyes, James. Sorry to keep you waiting, sister. How long does it take to defuse a fucking bomb? Sure, the wee robots do all the work. We've got the gist. They ran out of spots. Everyone was raging. Well, I can't tell my rebellions from my risings. And whose fault's that? If your lot had stopped invading us for five fucking minutes, there'd be a lot less to wade through. You English prick. <sighs> Nothing's going in. Nothing is going in, and every time I try to think, nothing. <sighs> What's happening to me? <sighs> There's quite a lot of caffeine in those, Claire. How many of them have you had? I don't know, five? Twenty-three? <sighs> We're all so fucked. No, more bacon than anyone. No sausage. We omelette, maybe. Anything at all? It's absolutely no bother. I'll have a cup of tea, so, Joe. Make your own tea. Yeah, I'll do that. You stay over two, son? Yes, I did. That's correct, sir. What? In your room? Have you nothing to say about this, you slack southern shite? Look, love, I know the fella's gay. I'm not gay. But gay or not? You, you said I was gay. He's still a fella. There's still a good chance that he's a rapist. I mean, no offence, son. Are you sure you didn't just... Jesus! Me too. She just smirked at me too. Why isn't she smirking at me? She isn't smirking at anyone, too. I just ought to. Fuck me. I like your shiny hair. 
So do I. I really like your shiny hair. This is just going to be a very relaxed, informal chat. And I don't want you to think of me as a priest. Think of me as a friend. Look. Just like you now. Dose. So, before we begin, do you guys have any questions for me? Yes, James. Is that a firm hold gel you're using there? It's a mousse. And where do you...? Hair and flare. Oh, I didn't realise that. They do men's range, yes. <sighs> Directly before the weeping, can you remember what you were doing? What you were talking about? I remember that James was being a dick. Miss Mallon. I don't like to use that word, sister, but it's so hard to describe James any other way, cos he's just such a dick. I don't think you're a dick, James. Really? Really. And you know who else doesn't think you're a dick? Our Lord. OK, look, this has got way out of hand. What are you wearing? What did I say? You look like a fucking ball bag. Your hair is all funny. Well, just put a bit too much mousse in it, that's all. Listen, girls. Get off me. Will you listen? It was piss. What was? The tears on the statue. Well, I actually have good reason to believe they were actually dog piss. No, you're not serious. Deadly serious. Sweet and gentle Jesus. I mean, that sort of makes sense. I'm not even sure I saw her smirk anymore. I've had a lot of caffeine. I definitely didn't see her smirk. I was lying, so... Excellent. I was going to tell you all earlier, but then Peter showed up and there was just this instant connection, like a spark. There was no spark here. He said it was special. He also said your dead pet had been fucking resurrected, so you know, pinch of salt. Yes. And now he's talking about digging him up. And when he does, he'll realise that Toto has not, in fact, been resurrected. He'll realise that Toto is just dead. Very, very dead. And we've all been talking shit. We need to tell the truth. No! No fucking way. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Look, Claire. Take a long, hard look at that. And this is only the beginning. The Dairy Journal are on their way round. They said we could make page five. Aaron, tell her! Yeah, we could tell the truth. I sort of like the fact that Peter thinks I'm the chosen one, so... James! I have a slight concern. The truth might affect my friendship with Peter. You don't have a friendship with Peter? Yes, I do. We have a lot in common, Claire. Like what? I mean, apart from the fact you appear to be wearing his clothes? Like the fact that we're both very spiritual, but mainly the fact that he doesn't think I'm a dick. And neither do I. What has become of us? Keep an eye on that kitchen window, you. I want no part of this. Well, you're in too deep, now, Claire. I mean, we're stealing a body. Let's just get it over with and never ever speak of it again. <gasps> Listen, I can. Oh, no, actually, I can't. I can't explain. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Peter. Peter, Peter, where are you going? Peter, wait. I've got the most amazing news. I've had a calling. I've decided to follow in your footsteps. I've decided to serve God. Don't be such a dick, James. So long since we If we go to Paris, I'd like to meet Nicole. Who's Nicole? For God's sake, how many times? It's just an ad. She's not a real person. Neither is Papa. Be good conversation practice as well, you know, for the orals. <gasps> Which will be the only oral that you... Yeah, OK, Michelle. You'll let me finish. Well, I sense where you're going. I'm not asking you again. A large curry body, Fenella. And don't be shy with the salt now. What about the wee lamey? Eh? Well, Deco? I'm OK, thanks. What? I don't really want anything. You don't want anything? How could you not want anything? It's lovely. No, I just don't really fancy it. That's all. I don't understand. Are you not feeling well, James? I don't like it, OK? It's too greasy. It's much, much too greasy. Even the smell of it makes me feel physically sick. I'm sorry that you had to hear that, Fenella. You're a fucking embarrassment. Get him out of here. You heard the woman? Can I ask why he stole the notice board? So we get first dibs in all the jobs? Wouldn't it have been easier to just remove the notices? They're only blue tacked on. Fuck off, Dickweed. There's also some gardening, mowing a lawn, etc. This will require a bit of muscle, so... You should take that one, Arla. No, I should do that one. It's a man's job, Erin. I'm a man. That's debatable. 
Well, I'm more of a man than all of I do not accept that. Come on, Erin. Fine. Mommy had he cut some sort of deal. Would living without fried food really be so bad? Yes. Still sticky? Hi. Hi, is it still sticky? Is it worse than when we started? I think it might be, yeah? Great. Oh, I see. Yeah, th this isn't Windeline. This is. This is mayonnaise. Slauncher, motherfucker! No, 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 no! One to ten. How dead do you think we are? Why would two come and break into a chippy? Ah, oh, that really hurt. You're such a pussy. What were they looking for? Chips, obviously. They were looking for the keys to the van. Keep up, Erin. Do you think we should knock them about a bit? No, nothing drastic. Just a few slaps. I said no, Sarah. What? Not even the wee gay pill? I'm not gay. Okay. That's a date. Do you mind say we could come up and have a look at the Russian? Ukrainian. Is this her? As in she cracker? She's half mine. No, she's not Orla. Yes, yeah, she is. Mammy said so. You're so lucky, Erin. I begged my mother to let me have one. But she said we've no room now that my dickhead, ball bag, English prick of a cousin's moved in. Talking about you, James, in case you're wondering. Yep, that much was clear. Thank you, Michelle. Who is this? Oh, that's just James. You are handsome. <laughs> and also sexy. Is her English not great? What's happening? Why would she do that? Why? Fuck knows he's minging. She seems to be really enjoying it. Is he enjoying it? It's hard to tell. Well, if he's not enjoying it, isn't that sort of sexual harassment? -y? Yeah, we should put a stop to it. Hey. Does anyone want a third pass, though? I really think she's playing some sort of twisted psychological mind game here. Or maybe your letters are just really fucking dull, Erin. My letters are a grip and read. I'm not comfortable with you talking about my girlfriend like this. Aha. Uh -huh. And she also fancies James. You don't find that a bit weird? Ah, uh, that is a bit fucked up, in fairness. Uh, I can't get my head around it. I'm telling you, she's up to something. Even so, I need her to put a word on with that big Russian ride. And I really like the fact she glows in the dark. I'm sorry? Because of the radiation, they all glow in the dark. Right. Actually, on second thoughts, I think this party would be really great for Katya. Might help bring her out of her shell, but... Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get... James, listen, I have something to tell you and... Ooh, dab dab. Okay. I'm just gonna say it. I think Katya is planning on having sex with you tonight. I know, I... You know? I'm meeting her upstairs in a bit. She told me to have some food first. Apparently, sex uses up a lot of energy. You do not want to do this, James. Yes, I do. You're not ready for it? I am. She doesn't love you, James. She's just using you. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't care. I won't let you. I won't let you do it. You can't stop me. Fine. In that case, I'll just come and watch. What? You heard me, James. If you insist on going through with this, well, I'm, I'm going to make sure you don't enjoy it. Dirty, dirty Brit. I beg your pardon? I know what you're up to. I'm not up to anything. I should be up to something, but I can't find the person I'm supposed to be up to it with because this place is like a fucking maze. You'll scare Clive. Who's Clive? Clive. Clive is a wee prod from East Belfast. 
James, what is going on? I wait a long time. You no longer want to do sex? No, 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 I do want to do sex. I really, really want to do sex. Come. You disgust me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Piss off, Erin. I mean, I know you're desperate, James, but paying for it. What? You really thought I wouldn't work it out? Work what out? What the actual cock are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that she's a prostitute. <gasps> oh, I am prostitute? Oh, come off it, James. She's charging you for it, hasn't she? Just a minute. No, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, not that I wouldn't consider it. Ugh. How dare you? For the love of God, don't come in here. Everything all right, Mary? Stay back, Deirdre. That place is a death trap. Listen, Mary, I hate to do this to you, but me and Martin are both working nights and I'm nervous about leaving these two on their own. What with the deed that's on it? Don't suppose there's any chance you could take them with you? How can we, Deirdre? It's just... The English thing. Listen, Mary, I understand. I mean, he's my nephew and even I find it hard to get past. If I'm totally honest, there's times when I look at him and I feel... Well, it's pure hatred. I'll not dress it up. No, no, it's not the English thing. Hope to God it's not the gay thing you're offended by. There is no gay thing. Because I'd be disappointed in you, Mary. I'll not lie. Of course not. I mean, of anything, the gay thing sort of cancels out the English thing. Again, no gay thing. You wouldn't move over there, James? I can't see past your massive closet. I'm just not sure we'll have room in the caravan. It'll be grand. Us men can camp outside. Oh, God. Run and ask Jim across the road for the land of his tent. Oh, thanks a million, Mary. I owe you one. Here, if you want our Ryan to sort that gable wall of yours out, you have only to ask. Gave you the intrepid, did he? That's his second best tent, you know. Tell you what, son. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? Oh, please don't. Please don't put me in charge of it. You'll be all right. Right, there's too many of us for one car. Some of you'll have to go with me, Dad. Can I? Can I? Because Joe drives really fast. He, like, runs through red lights and takes corners on two wheels. It has class. It really is. I think I'll hop in with Mr Quinn, if that's OK. They really don't look that happy, do they? Look, why don't we just explain that it was an accident, that we don't want any trouble? I'm looking out there. Well, see, I'm one of the wings out. What? What? Well, the wee fella's English. They might respect that. I think they would respect that, actually. Away you go, son. You're not serious. It could be grand. Underneath it all, I'm sure they're reasonable enough people. Absolutely no chance. And we have to decide what to do here, one way or another. Let's just vote. Leave him. I vote we run away and leave him. I vote we take him for better or worse and all that. I vote we take him. Me too. I can't decide. I've decided, but I'm afraid to say what I've decided. There's no shame in doing a half load, you know, Mary. I can't, sir. I physically can't. All right, stop. Hey, let me look at that. And you call that clean, do you? Different standards, you see, Mary. You're not in England now, son. All of us only washed it. Okay. Okay, I have had it with ye, James. And you're picking, picking, picking. And I won't take it anymore. Do you hear me? Is everything okay, Ola? Okay, right. Okay. How do I do a new line again? Return. Jesus, James, how many times? Return. Let's just run through some of our favourite ideas. So, firstly, animals. Animals. Can someone elaborate? Yeah. So, this concept would focus on animals. Alongside pictures of famous people who look a bit like animals. Michelle Pfeiffer looks like a cat. Exactly. OK, right. Animals. Uh, what's the next one? Shoes of the... Shoes of the world. And that involves... So this piece would concentrate on different shoes from around the world. Sitting alongside pictures of, you know, different shoes from around the world. OK. So like how in Russia they wear boots because... It's Baltic. And in India they wear sandals because... It's boiling. So that's it, is it? Thoughts? I'm not totally convinced by either of them, if I'm honest. The writing competition! Exactly. There's bound to be something in here we can steal. We can just steal something and we'll just, we'll just steal someone's idea and we'll just... 
passive officer home. Journalistic integrity at its finest. Searching for myself. What a load of balls. Oh, my God. Let's see. Suffocation, the secret life of a gay teenager. <laughs> it's anonymous. It wasn't me. No. This was written by a gay. Isn't this mad? <gasps> it's all anyone's talking about. Everyone's bossing to find out who she is. Well, if she ever does reveal herself, she'll basically be a celebrity. Excuse me! Excuse me, everybody! Excuse me! Excuse me! Yep. Oh. I just want to say that if you're looking for the wee laser, look no further, because here she is. Love women. Can't get enough. <laughs> Blame her. Ignore her, man. These gays, they all stick together. I'm not gay. What's wrong with being gay? He is such a fucking homophobe. Her, like, she's such a dick. <laughs> yeah, she might be a dick. But she's my dick! Actually, she's our dick. This weekend, them waterproof trousers do wonders for my hole. Mine are pink. They're bright pink. They were two for one, James. Stop crying. Two for one? Where? Kay's catalogue. I'm really looking forward to making friends with some lads. Lads aren't going to make friends with you, James. Lads make friends with other lads. I am a lad. So you are, James. Uh, how much for this to beauty, Dennis? We'll call it 16 quid. Could we call it 176? No, we fucking couldn't. How about we give you the 176 and we pay the rest off in instalments? You have to offer them some kind of incentive. They're not prostitutes, Michelle. And even if they were, I think a half-eaten packet of rolls and an Ulster Bank hearing is a pretty insulting form of payment. I have an HP pencil. Happy days. Oh, lads, you really shouldn't have. I'm starting to see that, all right. I'm going to keep mine on my bed, where I sleep, in my knickers. Right. I mean, these are free for a start. My dad has like 45 of them. We were told it was an old girls' school. You've been a bit shortchanged there. Nah, it's, it's fine, mate. It's, it's all good, man. I, I'll just give it to my bird. Your bird? Yeah, she's really fit and stuff. Right. OK, great. OK, listen up, people. According to this, you're going to need it. Well, they use the term buddy. So she does two bad bastards hook up or what? I'm sorry? Um, will you be my buddy, please? Sure. I'm not sure about this. I know you're funny art. These lads have moves. You said so yourself, Michelle. And I haven't got any moves. Look, let's just get on there, have a few drinks and just loosen up a bit. No, no, loosen it up. I don't like it. Just be confident, Erin. Boys like that. Why the fuck would you know what boy's like? Because I'm a boy, Michelle. I'm a real-life boy. Oh, yeah, like Pinocchio. Hello, mate. Fancy another beer, mate? Of course, I just love beer. Don't you just love beer? Yeah, beer's nice. I love beer and football and poker and, you know, tits. Tits? Can't get enough of them. Well, then again, I am a lad. Yeah, you may be a lad, John, but I can offer you protection. I have a hunting knife. Right, OK. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Nature's calling. Whoa! Number one or number two? Excuse me? Just answer the question, John. I don't want to answer the question. I'm not comfortable with the question. Because if it's a number two, it's safer to bury it. You don't want a pack of wolves following your scent out in these parts. Those boys. They'll tear you limb from limb. We're inside. Very sophisticated noses, John. I'm going to go now. Can't you let me have anything for myself? No. Um, what are you talking about? 
There we are. Sure's need a great fella altogether. I still don't get what it's supposed to be. It's Jesus as a way. <coughs> Why's he got a big red hat on? Nobody knows. It was the bishop's wish that he be passed around all the schools in the Derry Diocese. Therefore, we are joined this morning by Mr. Malone, headmaster of St. Benedict's, so that the handover ceremony can take place. You're very welcome, Mr. Malone. OK. That's not the end. It should be. Here's a poem about a dog. Here's another one about a dog. This one has no name on it. An English rose among thorns. Yeah, I can see why you might want to remain anonymous, all right. Dog poem, poem about a tree. What do you think, James? You've got red eyes because I ran out of brown. My eyes are green. No, you tell me. OK, so I'm trying not to think too much. Did you just sort of let it flow through me? Oh, that's my there. Here's what I have so far. You know we belong together, you and I, forever and ever. No matter where you are, you're my guiding star. Isn't that the theme tunes are home and away? Is it? Dig deep. Something you hate, something you despise, no holding back. Come on, get it out! For the people here use the word we to describe things that aren't even actually that small. Stop it, I love that accent, James. You've got to search for the hero inside yourself. Search for the secrets you hide. Search for the hero inside yourself. Until you find the key to your life. We're not abducting him, Claire. We're kidnapping him. We'll give him back on the condition that Mr. Brun is rightfully reinstated. Okay, let's do the photograph. Great. I'll write the ransom note. We need a copy of today's newspaper. Why? It's just a dumb thing, kidnapping wise. I've got last week's parish bulletin. That'll do. I don't know about this one. I think he looks a bit fat on it. Yeah, that's not flattering. Aye. Right, maybe if we just tell him this way a bit. See, I think he needs to come forward a bit. It was fine where it was, Dicko. Look, I'm the one taking the photo. Oh, fuck off! Just leave it, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girls. Time to hit the road here. Have they roped you into going as well, son? Roped him? Hardly. He's riding Gary Barlow. I'm not. I, I just respect him as a songwriter, that's all. I did on James, so you do. A history project! This weapon lies where spin is getting out of control now, girls! It's Grand Claire, I think she bought it. Of course she didn't buy it. She's on to us, I'm telling you. But I'm sweltered here. Then take it off. I can't take it off. I've done underneath it. But not even a bra. Jesus, Claire, you've no brown. Of course I've got a bra on. I haven't got a brown. Can everyone please stop saying bra? But I can hardly parade around in just my bra, can I? I'm not Madonna. Isn't that the truth? What are you doing now? Reading her book. <laughs> now she's looking at the woman beside her. Now she's getting up. Now she's coming this way. Now she's standing right in front of us. What's he doing? Now she's... Stop talking to him. What are you playing at? Get in the van, fucko! You don't have to if you don't want to, James. With all due respect, this has got nothing to do with you. The way you'll treat this fella is disgraceful. What is going on, James? John Joe and the lads, well, they just get me. And it turns out I'm a really good salesman. That's a natural. So what, you, you're a gypsy now? Traveller! Actually, a gypsy's fine. And it? Let's get a move on! Right, get in the van, come on. And do not test me, cos we've really missed PJ and Duncan. Is that who we're supporting them? Aye. Oh, I really like them! I'm not leaving, Michelle. Not even for Guy Barlow. I don't really rate him as a, as, a, as a songwriter, you know. I'm sorry, John John. You just crossed the line there. I said you can 
invite one friend to the reception? Why? Why oh, they don't come separately? I have a pack animals, mate. I love your hat, Mrs. Quinn. Thanks, son. Take care. Well, no, I'll carry on. Do you hear me? We're in enough bother as it is. Best behaviour. Can we come in? Why are you whispering? I don't know. Thanks for coming, guys. It's nice to have a bit of support at this very difficult time. You thought she was a dick. I never said that. You did, Aaron. I definitely heard you say it. OK, can I just check something? Everybody else can see the dead body, right? It's just Bridie. <laughs> it's Bridie's corpse. It's Bridie's dead corpse. It's her wig. What were you expecting? Haven't you ever seen a dead body before? Of course not. <laughs> Christ, but the English are weird. You can touch her if you want. Why the hell would I want to touch her? That's nice. Stop it! It's just a dead body. Dames are all going to be one someday. Oh, well, thanks for that, Claire. Yeah, that's helped. I can't believe we're doing this. It's fucking heartbreaking. Look, grandpa has had one, and now he's acting really, really weird. You're being paranoid here. He was nice to daddy. Jesus. Exactly. And if my ma starts asking questions... Your ma won't trace it back to us. Are you for real? She traces everything back to us. She traces things we haven't even done back to us. Are you sure this will work? This is how you get rid of drugs, Claire. I've seen good fellas like 20 times. Is it working? Of course it's working. Is the water rising? Jesus Christ, why is the water rising, James? Don't know that the water didn't rise in good fellas. Oh. Can we agree it's on a strict one in, one out basis? If she joins the group, James has to leave. Of course. Absolutely. Excuse me? Well, this prom's gonna be a full blown dick fest. You know there isn't even gonna be a DJ. Apparently, Jamie's hired this fucking pensioner band. Christ, really? I heard the drummer is at least 30. I don't feel so bad about missing it now. It clashes with my thing. The creep convention, seriously? It's not a creep convention. Well, I think a load of perverts getting together to wank over some fella who fights with hoovers and rides aliens in a telephone box is the very fucking definition of a creep convention. It's a Doctor Who night. Me and my stepdad used to watch it when I was little. Well, someone should have called social services then, James. You're not going to the prom then, James. Well, I was going to ask you to be my date. I'm sorry, Claire. You were going to ask James to be your date? What the fuck's wrong with you? Well, it's a bit more complicated for me. You're a lesbian, Claire, not desperate. Come no. with me. Really? 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 It'll be a laugh. And I'm definitely an upgrade. Just a wee joke there. Yeah, it was. It was dead funny. What'd you say? Sounds good to me. Great. All sorted. OK, now that May has officially joined the group, we need to give James his notice. What? I personally think a week's more than generous. Me too. Order? Well, I'm sorry, James, but Chinese people are just better than English people. To be together. Mum, mind me. But what about your Greek convention? Okay, it's not a Greek convention, and it's not important. <laughs> Shall we go? Can you give me one minute? What's she doing? She was talking about how she wasn't going to let Jenny get away with the whole prom queen thing. Jesus Christ, look. Above the stage, look. She's not going to do a carry. Fuck a diddle do. What's a carry? What does that mean? You've never seen carry? No. Oh, it's some phone call. Amazing. Hey, you should check it out. Expand and explain. Expand and explain! So Carrie has voted prom queen, and this bully pours a bucket of pig's blood on her. Jesus Christ! I mean, lots of other stuff happens too, but that's the sort of relevant bit. Hello there. Why don't you hop in? Oh, come on now. Don't be shy. Help, stranger, stranger, danger! Oh, Jesus Christ, Aaron. Help, this woman is trying to abduct us! Help! Fire! Fire! Give up fire! Fire! What the fuck are you holding on? He gets more attention than rabbits in there! Kidnapper! Fire! Help, there's a kidnapper on fire! You just all just shut the fuck up. It's fine. She's not a kidnapper. Well, who is she? Then Kathy. Hello, Mum. All right. I hope you don't mind, Mrs. Quinn, but. Oh, Kathy, it's yourself. Long time, girls. 
It is indeed. And fair play to you, Cathy. You've kept them eyebrows ship shape, so you have. Credit where credit's due. Oh, you're too kind, Sarah. I'm serious, they're in great nick. That must be some comfort to you. I'm sorry? We heard about your wee divorce. Nightmare? Yeah, it was a difficult decision, but Paul, my ex, well, he just became so controlling. Jesus, really? He was unbearable towards the end. It was always, oh, Cathy, why did you stay out all night? Or who was that man you were having dinner with, Cathy? He was very insecure. Wonder why? I mean, James's father was the same. I just seem to attract the possessive jealous types. I don't know what it is. The eyebrows. No, I hate to impose on you, but um, I just need to make a quick call. And unbelievably, my sister doesn't have a phone. People have been circling the spot like vultures. I've managed to hold them off so far, but it's only going to get tougher. We must show no weakness. We must be as one. Are you ugly? Come on, link up. Come on, James. I need to talk to you, to all of you. Later, James. It can't wait. Just fuck up and link on. I'm leaving. I'm going back to London with Mum. When? Now. I have to go now. The taxi's booked. I'm sorry, it was all decided so quickly. I, I don't understand. It's not serious. I am. You can't leave, James. This was always going to happen. This was never my real life. It was just something that got in the way of it. What are you talking about? You love it here. I'm not sure I do. I think I just developed Stockholm Syndrome. Get yourself on, you've never even been to Switzerland. <laughs> Listen, I'll never forget this pace. I have to go home now. It's time. Goodbye, girls. Oh, I don't fucking think so, so I dick face. Oi, wine features. Shell, please. Goodbye, girls. Why is the fuck up? What do you want me to say? She let you down again. You do realize that? She's asked me to be a partner in her business, actually, Michelle, so... No, it makes sense. She needs you to help flog her fucking stickers. Self-adhesive labels. Free labour. That's what she's after. You know she thinks about herself, James. I I when it doesn't work out, what then? It will work out. Anyway, it's not like I belong here. I never did. That's not true. You're a dairy girl now, James. Please, off. I'm serious. It doesn't matter that you've got that stupid accent or that your butts are different to my butts. Well, because... Being a dairy girl, what's a fucking state of mind? And you're one of us. I have to do this. But I don't want you to. She's my mum, Michelle. Well, fuck off then. Glad to get out of this dive, love. I know I am.
Standing here in front of the Guild Hall, looking out over these historic walls, I see a peaceful city, a safe city, a hopeful city, full of young people that should have a peaceful and prosperous future here where their roots and families are. That is what I see today with you.